Right, let's talk about the Razer Raiju. I've just been playing with it for about a day now. I'm comparing it with the Nankon, Nakon Revolution 2, which was quite nice. My issues with it, I'm a PlayStation player. These two need to swap places. Yeah, the D-pad needs to swap with the fucking analog. Or the f whatever you call these. Same on the new, on the Razer. I wish they were different. And the D-pad here is sunken in. It's a four-way. So there's no actual, like the Revolution. You've got diagonals, you've got all eight. But I'm struggling to hit inputs that I would hit on the DualShock 4. Which, I don't know, I think it feels better. But I sold them all, so I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get another DualShock again. I lost rank in Tekken to Savior, but that always happens. I can't just blame the pad. Give it some more time. Features on this. Right, this isn't bright enough. Let's put it on the floor. I still can't really see it. The features on this are well, what can you do with this pad? You can play wireless now. It takes forever to set that up. But the Nacon doesn't have the wireless ability. Button mapping again. There's a switch there. Don't know if you can read it on this, but it goes from PC. Yeah, there you go. PS4, BT, so that's Bluetooth. Or USB if you click it to the middle, and you can play on your PC with Bluetooth if you click it all the way to the other end. But anyway, see, it disconnected me. I just need to, I think, hold down. Let's just have a look. Oh, All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm back. I don't want to. I'm in the middle of making a video. Right, let's just exit without saving like we always do. Yeah. Mapping buttons. Where was I? This, this room is trash. Right. Mapping buttons. You got your what was that M one M two and on the sh up here with the shoulder there's two more buttons there and there and they are what are they M one and M two are at the top M three and M four are here and here you can map them out I've done some serious mapping the really cool thing about this if you've had the Nacon. You can't map that shit on the fly. This, you, you've got an app on your phone. You don't have to link it to your PC. So for that, I give it, you know, thumbs up, five star review. A lot of people have uh, issues with these, uh, whatever they're called. What are they called? The analogs. About that they're not that accurate. Or that they lose. Uh, like what do you call it calibration but I think there's a new firmware update so give me a few more give me a week Mortal Kombat's coming out let me see how I do on that with this but just frame moves are fucking hard on this pad and on the Nacon which is a it's a good pad man good pad but I can't justify the price either I think these retail brand new for 150 or 200 pounds Second hand, £100, these ones, the Razors, Nikon Revolution, 60 and brand new, I think 100 I'm not exactly sure. To be honest, I've had difficulty with both of them. Uh, I do prefer the Razor. Maybe it's the money I paid and it's forcing me. That's sick logo. Anyway, yeah, um, I hope you like the video. Uh, if I could recommend the pad, it would just be a normal DualShock 4 for Tekken. It's perfect. I don't think they've come out of anything. I'm, I'm not a stick player. I'll leave that to the girls. Alright guys, thanks.